Hi there. Today we're going to walk through a quick demo of how to use Aqueduct with Kubernetes. To get started, we're going to go to the Aqueduct UI, select the Kubernetes integration logo, and fill in the form here. We'll give our integration a name. We will point Aqueduct to the file path that has the Kubernetes config that we uh, have created that has access to the cluster, and we will tell Aqueduct the name of the Kubernetes cluster that we're connecting to. That's all the information that we need, so we can go ahead and hit confirm, and once that's done, we'll see that Aqueduct has successfully connected to Kubernetes. Now that we've connected Aqueduct to Kubernetes, we can go ahead and use our Kubernetes cluster to run our code. First, we're going to create an Aqueduct client. And then we're going to use Aqueduct at op decorator to decorate the function that we have here in our notebook. The at op decorator allows Aqueduct to capture the function and allows you to configure where and how the function should run. So here we're telling Aqueduct to run on the EKS cluster that we just connected to. In this function, we're simply reading the environment variable for the Kubernetes service host and see that we get the IP address of the Kubernetes node exactly as we would expect when we run the function. Aqueduct's Kubernetes integration also allows you to automatically request and receive access to GPUs. Here we have another function that looks exactly like the function above, but we've added a, re a resource request that asks for an NVIDIA GPU. We've also told Aqueduct to install Torch when we run this function. Within our function, we import Torch and we check to see if CUDA is available, implying that the drivers for NVIDIA are installed and that we can access our GPU. Since Torch is a large library, this function will take a moment to execute. We'll pause the demo and come back once this is finished executing. As you can see, once the function finishes executing, CUDA is indeed marked as available because the function returned true. Now we're sure that we can go ahead and use this container to use a GPU to train a model or do some inference. These are just a few of the features that Aqueduct's Kubernetes integration offers. To learn more, check out our longer demo video linked below and check out our documentation. Thanks for watching.